Well, good morning, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 5th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. We're going to start out here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the latest disasters. Talking about the heat wave, parts of eastern Canada, and as well, United States. And on the west, we've got quite a cool down happening right now. And across the Pacific Ocean to Korea, where they have an extreme heat warning as well. As well, Pakistan and Europe as well. They're dealing with a lot of storms as well from the extreme heat colliding with the cool low pressures from the north. They also have some forest fires to deal with as well in Europe from this long nine-day extreme heat wave. Looking across North America, this morning we had an early earthquake in Canada again, a 5.6 in Bella Bella. Definite uptick on the eastern side of the Ring of Fire as we've seen many earthquakes, large earthquakes as well. Talk about yesterday's 6.4 in California. Latest Volcanoes to update, Santa Maria in Guatemala, as well as Singaging Api in Indonesia, Sebenkai in Peru, Fuego, Guatemala, Dokono, Reventador, and then we've got this forest fire situation in Russia. Check this out, NASA Worldview. Look at all those hot spots and all that smoke being sucked into that low pressure system heading east. Very strange indeed. The last couple of years this has been happening around the same time, June, July. Many and massive forest fires across Russia. A little bit suspicious in my mind. Let's look at our sun the last 48 hours watching the earth-facing coronal hole leaving our position. Still pretty quiet on our sun. The second coronal hole stream is facing, not really facing towards earth. It's facing more up than anything, but definitely something to keep an eye on. I always like to share these Solar Dynamics Observatory images. Let's look at the last 48 hours for earthquake. Earthquakes, Let's zoom in here to Canada, where yet again, a 5.6 has struck Bella Bella at a five kilometer depth. Also had an earthquake, a 2.9 in Yelm, Washington. So stay aware and prepared, especially all the volcanoes in that region, Mount Baker, Shasta, and of course, Mount St. Helens. Looking around the world, pretty quiet around the rest of the planet. A lot of the energy coming out of the east ring of fire. Notable earthquakes here, 4.5, 4.9, Indonesia. And as well as 5.1, the Antarctic Ridge. Nothing on the other face of the planet to talk about. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Deep earthquake movement, followed by a large and shallow earthquake movement. Stay aware and prepared. Be ready and have a plan. That's all I can say. Much love to you all. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Media Worth, Media Mike, overlooking North America. As I said in the beginning, east side dealing with a heat wave and the west coast cool down 
definitely not enough rain for British Columbia. Very dry. They should be getting their spring rains. Summer rains. But you can see those our low pressure systems are coming from the north. It's just a very strange summer indeed. Right out to the east coast, the cool down. We'll swing there later in the week. Across Europe, the cool down has begun. Uh, those large low pressure centers that joined, heading straight south into parts of Romania. And then still watching this atmospheric event below China. Strong line of moisture that seems to just ride the jet stream out to the Pacific Ocean. I just wanted to point out the largest weather modification facility is right here above the Mongolia Mountains. That's right, China has the largest weather modification facility in the world. Be sure to check that video out. I have released it before. I believe it has been shadow banned by YouTube. So please share across China later in the week. Watch for extreme storms as that low pressure heads east. Brings mass amount of rain and convective energy. So China later in the week will be I'm sure that we'll be seeing some video footage coming out of some flooding and some extreme storms. No Pacific storms to talk about except for Barbara. So Barbara is crashing into the high pressure ridge in the Pacific right now. And is yeah, projected to track straight west and beeline for Hawaii. So let's hope that it stays a downgraded storm and does not reform like Hurricane Hugo last year. And then invest area number 95E. Not really much organization with this storm. High pressure ridge tearing it apart. Then cross parts of Colombia and Panama. Watch for a lot of rain over the next few days. I want to thank you all for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. And we're not posting any Atlantic storms either. Yet. So stay aware and prepared. Because when we do have one. It's like in like a lamb and out like a lion. So stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.